Hi, everyone. Welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. So we're continuing our conversation on the accounting software WAVE. So today we're going to deep dive into the sales section. So on the left hand side, this section here deals with what I call cash coming in. So this is where you're going to invoice your customers. So first thing you want to do is in WAVE is to set up your products and services. So no matter what, if you decide not to use WAVE or you use another accounting software, always set up your products and services. So your products and services, these are products and services that you're going to sell. So in WAVE, all you have to do is hit this blue button here, add product or service. Customers, I do recommend you go ahead and enter in your customer information. So that's the contact name, the address, the email. And so then you don't have to go back and look through emails or look through, you know, pull up an old document. It's already here for you. So you all you have to do is add customer and you can put in the information here as you can see. Um, let me scroll down. So um, if you assign account numbers, you can put that in also. Now invoices. Invoices are pretty easy to create. Uh, what I like about this function also, once you create an invoice, you can send it by email. So you don't even have to worry about downloading it, opening up your email and sending it to your customer. So this is not a real company. This is a company that I've created just to show individuals how to use WAVE. So all you have to do is go create an invoice. Click that blue button. And first thing, you're going to add that customer. So let's just say, you know, you want to add a customer and I'm just going to say um, Tom Smith. And once again, this is where I do recommend you go ahead and put in the customer information so you don't have to go, um, once again, like I said, into emails or phishing for it. You can put in the billing information for that customer, the shipping. They even have more. So you want to put internal notes. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. WAVE will automatically sign the invoice number. If you have a PO number, you can enter that. Invoice date, payment date. So as a business, you will select when you want your payment. So um, there's different options here. So there's on receipt within 15 days, within 30 days, within 45 days, 60 days, 90 days. And then you will just go to your invoice and you'll select add item. So this is what you're actually selling to your um, your customer. Let's just say you're going to sell IT services. You can just you know put a description here. Maybe it's website design and you know let's just say for you know I don't know one hour or so it is five hundred dollars. So you know you'll put the quantity and you'll put the price. Also the um, the sales tax. Um, you can do that gives you the subtotal. You can also add a discount. One thing I do want to point out is view income account. I'm going to go over here. So this particular invoice that from this revenue, this revenue is going to hit sales. So that's what that means. Income account is going to hit the income account called sales. So that's why it's so important to go ahead before you create invoices, set up your products and services and tell Wave what income account you want your products and services to hit. And I'll go more into detail in the reporting section about that. So this is creating invoices. Um, you can put notes. You can then save and continue. And once you save and continue, it asks you to, you know, if you want to look, it's asking you to look at the draft, you approve draft, and then you can send it, you know, add customer email, um, share the link. So once again, it's pretty simple to use um, for the sales section. So once you actually go to creating invoices, you can go to customer statements. And this is where you can actually look to see what's outstanding. So this is why accounting software is so beneficial because a lot of times small businesses, they're creating invoices, but there's no one going back to say, 
our customers' pain. So you definitely want to utilize the customer statements to make sure that your customers are paying on time. So hopefully you find this information helpful. Once again, if you're starting off, you're a small nonprofit, your business is not so complicated, you know, right now, um, you don't have, you know, 10, you know, the 20 products or services, you know, you're not, you know, you're not doing like project based type of work, wave may be a good fit for you. So as you can see, once again, I, I do like how they utilize common words. So individuals that are not accounting professionals, they can do their bookkeeping on their own. You can also invite a bookkeeper to wave. So if you decide to hire a bookkeeper, you can still keep wave. Um, and then you can give um, the bookkeeper access. So once again, hopefully you find this information helpful. Make sure you share it with a fellow entrepreneur. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.